all too often parents want the games. It's another game. Let's have another game. Let's have another game. But in truth, it's practice. No. 15 ground balls today, 23 ground balls tomorrow. I mean, you know, you can play a double header. And this would happen when I was coaching some AAU, 12 and under, 13 and under. You know, you could go through a double header as a shortstop. And I would move everybody around yeah. anyway. But you could have a, a game at shortstop, two games at shortstop, and not get one ground ball. Well, is that good for you? I mean, your development? No. It's better to have had a practice. Instead of playing doubleheaders on Saturday and Sunday, so maybe you play a doubleheader on Saturday, and Sunday you go over some of the things that cropped up in you know, the course of the two games, and meanwhile you're getting your ground balls, you're getting your ground balls, you're getting a few more swings, you're getting some fly balls, yeah. and have some fun with it too. As a coach, you want that kid to come back next year. That kid may have done nothing all year good kid, you know, was kind of timid, whatever. But every year there's a year of development, you know, depending what ages they are, and, and they mature, and they grow yeah. physically, and, and things change. You know, I remember having a kid, um, 12 and under, good kid, really good kid, kind of big, third base, first base, so I put him in the outfield. And, and don't you know, no matter whether I put him in right field, left field, it didn't matter, the first batter would always hit the ball to him. <laughs> And he'd, he'd dance around like a, a, a newborn giraffe, you know, trying to find his legs, and the ball would fall down. And, yep. and so I would joke with him and say, listen, listen, um, uh, do me a favor, put a helmet on when you go out there, will you please? So we would practice fly balls. And by a couple years later, he was playing outfield, starting in center field. He had good speed and good size and a good arm. He was starting in center field for a high school team. Yep. You never know, and you that's don't. why, as a coach, you, you never want to turn them off right. at 12 years old, 11 years old. For the full interview and our other videos, visit our YouTube channel and help us grow by subscribing. Support our nonprofit work online at evenfield.org.